Good morning, Turning Point. Friday morning, great to be at the end of this week, which means Sunday is just around the corner. Another online service that we can be a part of. So make sure you plan to be there. Make sure more, though, you plan to invite others. Like it on Sunday. Encourage it. Even this. Let people know that we are still active within the church. So over the last few weeks, we've been going through this booklet, Pursue God. That's what we're doing. We're pursuing after him. If you still haven't got hold of it, they're always available on our website. Maybe you can download them, send the link to others so that they can join in. Because what a great way to do it is to share it with other people. Being Friday, of course, food support's running in Hallam, Cranbourne, Coorup. But you do need to call ahead. Otherwise, we won't be able to organise some pickups, etc., with all the shutdown requirements that we must keep up with. In Cranbourne, though, the thing that everyone's been waiting for, Stripes Splat, our junior youth, our ones at high school, make sure you get on the websites, look at Facebook, find out all the information, book yourself in to make sure that everything is lined up so that your kids are a part of it. In fact, invite others that are not part of the church to become part of it so that they can get the impact as well. And remember, God is for us. Who can be against us? Today, I want you to remember that. We hear of many negative things in the world. We see of problems that we can't even answer. But we know one thing. God has got an answer for everything. Why will yet sinners Christ die for us? When everything was out of order, he came for us. He was the one in the midst of all the Roman issues, Jesus rose up to give hope. Today, in the midst of issues, Jesus is here to give hope. Take it yourself. Give it to others as we see this day used for the glory of our God. Enjoy the reading and the testimony now. Bless you. Good morning, Turning Point. This morning I'm going to be reading from Psalm 119. It is a long psalm, so I encourage you. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you this morning. So I encourage you to read all of it because it is a powerful psalm, just like all the other scriptures we've been reading. I'm going to read from verse 1 to verse 5. And it says, Joyful are the people of integrity who follow the instructions of the Lord. Joyful are those who obey his laws and search for him with all their heart. They do not, comprom they do not compromise with evil and they walk only in his paths. You have charged us to keep your commandments carefully. Oh, that my actions would consistently reflect your decrees. Church, we must remember that that. We must be obedient to what God has called us to do and, and obedient to the plans that God has put into place. Just because we're confined to the, to the four walls of our houses or our workplaces doesn't mean that God's plans have been put on hold. We need to make sure now that we are planning so that when we come back together, we can put into action all the great things that God wants to do through us. His plan and his vision for Turning Point has not changed. We are going to keep planting churches. We are going to see salvations. We are going to see people set free. We are going to reach our communities. So it's important that in this time we continue to work on the plans that God has already birthed in our hearts. And if he's birthed something new in your heart, start to put pen to paper. Start to plan out what God is speaking to you right now. God bless you all. Have a great week and I hope to see you all very, very soon in person. Bye. Praise the Lord Jesus Christ, servant of God. My name is Hadi Makimbilio, pastor. I'm pastoring a CRC church in Nyarugusu Camp, Kasulu, Kigoma, Tanzania. We have many people whom we are working together. And uh, in that service of God that we are doing, we thank much God because we, we have uh, got a servant of God from Australia, Phil, Philip uh, uh, Kaiser, Noma and Gloria. And uh, the CRC Church uh, from Nyarugusu Camp now greets all the servant God who are in, uh, in Australia. 
tunaomba muzidi kutuombea we ask you now to keep on praying for us na wale wanaoweza kuguswa and if if there is any can be touched by us can uh, contribute anything or help us and to keep on helping all the servants of God whom we are eating together I hope that God is gonna pay you back for everything that you'll do God bless you so much Amen